truth is not what you want it to be. It is what it is, and you must bend it to its power or live a lie. Whatever your determination or willpower, it is foolish to try to change the nature of things. Things work the way they do, because that is the way of things. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. To win any battle, you must fight as if you are already dead. The purpose of today's training is to defeat yesterday's understanding. It may seem difficult at first, but everything is difficult at first. The only reason a warrior is alive is to fight, and the only reason a warrior fights is to win. You may abandon your own body, but you must preserve your honor. Fixation is the way to death. Fluidity is the way to life. In time, all things work to your advantage when you pursue them with an open heart. If you wish to control others, you must first control yourself. With your spirit open and unconstricted, look at things from a high point of view. Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. If you know the way broadly, you will see it in everything. Do not waste time idling or thinking after you have set your goals. To know 10,000 things, no one will. You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. Do nothing that is of no use. Do not under any circumstances depend on a partial feeling. Today is the victory over yourself of yesterday. Tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. The path that leads to truth is littered with the bodies of the ignorant. All men are the same except for their belief in their own selves, regardless of what others may think of them. Do not regret what you have done. Understand the harm and benefit of everything. If there isn't discipline, how can there be a true realization of an ideal? It is difficult to understand the universe if you only study one planet. The approach to combat in everyday life should be the same. Resentment and complaint are appropriate neither for oneself nor others. Do not let the body be dragged along by the mind, nor be dragged along by the body. There is more to life than increasing its speed. A man cannot understand the art he is studying if he only looks for the end result without taking the time to delve deeply into the reasoning of the study. Step by step, walk a thousand mile road. Respect Buddha and the gods without counting on their help. The ultimate aim of martial arts is not having to use them. A warrior has no confusion in his mind. This is true emptiness. Study strategy over the years and achieve the spirit of the warrior. In fighting and in everyday life, you should be determined, though calm. One thousand days of lessons for discipline, ten thousand days of lessons for mastery. True warriors are fierce because their training is fierce. One must make the warrior walk his everyday walk. The principle is strategy by means of the long sword. If he attains the virtue of the long sword, one man can beat ten men. The way of the warrior is resolute acceptance 
of death. If you do not control the enemy, the enemy will control you. To become the enemy, see yourself as the enemy of the enemy. You win battles by knowing the enemy's timing and using a timing which the enemy does not expect. There is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. Everything exists. Seek nothing outside of yourself. Many things can cause a loss of balance. One cause is danger, another is hardship, and another is surprise. The important thing in strategy is to suppress the enemy's useful actions, but allow his useless actions. Everything can collapse. Houses, bodies, and enemies collapse when their rhythm becomes deranged. In large-scale strategy, it is beneficial to strike at the corners of enemy's force. If the corners are overthrown, the spirit of the whole body will be overthrown. If the enemy thinks of the mountains, attack like the sea. And if he thinks of the sea, attack like the mountains. Be neither insufficiently spirited nor over-spirited. An elevated spirit is weak, and a low spirit is also weak. Do not let the enemy see your spirit. Never accept an inferior position to anyone. It is the strongest spirit that wins, not the most expensive sword. In battle, if you make your opponent flinch, you have already won. You can only fight the way you practice. There is timing in everything. Timing and strategy cannot be mastered without a great deal of practice. Perception is strong and sight weak. In strategy, it is important to see distant things as if they were close and to take a distanced view of close things. When you decide to attack, Keep calm and dash in quickly. Attack with a feeling of constantly crushing the enemy, from first to last. When you have attained the way of strategy, there will be nothing that you cannot understand. You will see the way in everything. Whatever the way, the master of strategy does not appear fast. If we look at things objectively from the viewpoint of laws of the world, we see various doctrines departing from the true way. Really skillful people never get out of time and are always deliberate and never appear busy. From this example, the principle can be seen. With your spirit open and unconstricted, look at things from a high point of view distinguish between good and evil. Language does not extend to explaining the way in detail, but it can be grasped intuitively. The spirit of my school is to win through the wisdom of strategy, paying no attention to trifles.